Good morning, fourth graders. I hope you guys are having a great day and diving into your work for today. It was such a nice chance to get to see some of you yesterday, and I've been busy grading all of your work. Um, some things that I just want to tell you, make sure that you are um, going slowly through your work and being neat. Make sure that you're also reducing all those fractions. Some of you had left them in improper fractions or um, they were able to reduce more and you forgot to reduce those, so make sure you're doing those. Uh, make sure you're showing all of your work for division. And overall, I was really impressed. I just graded your arithmetic test and you guys did very well on that. So I am pleased with what you were doing at home. Well, it's yesterday lesson and today's lesson is kind of a new concept. I know that we hit on it just a little bit last year in third grade, but I thought I would make a video and kind of show you guys how to do this. Now we're going to count back change. And if you remember from last year, when we count back change, we always do it in the least amount of coins as possible. So we would never say just five pennies. Instead of that, we would say one nickel. And we would never say two nickels. We would say one dime. And so we want to make it in the least amount of change as possible. So if you look in your book, in your page from yesterday on page 245, on number 1A, you're seeing if the customer counted back the change correctly. So let's see what they did. They spent $2.05. Maybe they bought them a Gatorade for $2.05. And that's how much the customer spent. Well, they gave the clerk $3. So we have to see if they counted back the change the correct way. So let's look right over here. The clerk gave the change. Now, remember, the Gatorade was $2.05, all right? And so we wanna see if they counted back the change correctly. So $2.05, well, they said two dimes. So two dimes would make it 25 cents. She did that correctly. And then adding three quarters, which would make it $3. So remember, whenever we're counting back the change, we take whatever we owe them, okay, and whatever we give them and we count up. So you're going to count up from $2.05 up to $3. And that is exactly what they did here. $2.05, we added two dimes, which makes it $2.25, and then three quarters, which would make it $3. And so just kind of review this a little bit. I know you were supposed to see which clerk made the correct change, and so you would just circle that. And so if you were doing 1A, you would circle 1A as being correct. And I think you had a few other questions to do on that page. Now for today's lesson, we're doing just a little bit different. It's actually a little bit easier. And what we're doing is we are trying to count up the person spent $16.19 and we're going to count back the change to the, well, this Sorry, excuse me. The person spent $16.19 and then the, the person gave them $20. So we have to count back the change from $20. So if we're going from $16.19 all the way to $20, let's see how many pennies and nickels and quarters we would use here, okay? So $16.19, think of how many pennies that would make it to where we could use a nickel or a dime. If you said one, you were correct. So one penny, so that would give us $16.20, okay? So now, let's think about a nickel. What could we do to make it um, more to where we could have, we could use some quarters? Think about your nickels or dimes. We always wanna make them in order to where we can use some quarters to get to our dollars. Let's think, if you said one nickel, that's correct. So $16.25. Now, quarters. How many quarters do we need? If you said three, you are correct. Three quarters would make it $17. All right, now, if we're at $17 and we need to get to $20, 18, 19, 20, so we'd have three more dollars, and now we have counted back the change correctly, and we have 20 from $20. So, this is the section for number one on page 247. You have just a couple after that, and to do it's just exactly pretty much the same way as this one is. Now, this is kind of a parent's disclaimer here. This 
is not anything that is we are tested over. It's just kind of knowledge that is good to know. So don't stress out if your children don't get it right away because we are not tested or quizzed on any of this information. Let me know if you have any other questions and hope you have a good day.